Hey, and welcome to another episode of Full Metal Singles. Today we've got a bang of a match. Today we've got Jordan Owens versus Stephen Shepard. Um, should be an interesting match um, and should be a really a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to bring on um, our competitors. I'm um, going to bring on first Stephen. Um, Stephen, how are you feeling about playing off against JPO? It'll be interesting because... We've gone back and forth of he's beaten me, I've beaten him. So I'll be interested to see how this plays out. Um, yeah, um, Edie, for you actually want to say he should go. Uh, no, just, uh, just here to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> and jamming on JPO. JPO, how are you feeling about playing Steven? I'm feeling good. I've beat him. He claims he beat me. I don't remember that. <laughs> but I know I've beaten him. No, I, I like Steven a lot. I know he's going to bring his game. I'm going to hopefully bring mine. I think this will be a good match here. I'm coming for you, Steven. <laughs> I'm coming to win this whole thing, Malcolm. <laughs> um, but with that, I'm going to bring Steven back on and, oh, he's get, <laughs> and we'll get um, going. Um, Go and start with round one because obviously no point starting with round three. Um, um, but um, basically round one is going to be ten. <laughs> round one is going to be ten questions in ten different categories. Um, every question is worth one point apiece. Um, everyone gets um three repeats. Um, one challenge. If you ha- um to use um and but most of all keep your hands on screen at all times and. Have fun because that's all trivia is. It's all fun. It's fun unless you're taking it serious because they're not. It's not. <laughs> I'm going to break this board if I lose. <laughs> People have done it before. Um, <laughs> um, but first question, Kim is going to come in fantasy. In Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, what does Jack initially hide Davy Jones's heart in before it gets stolen by James Norrington? Four, three, two, one. Pins down. S- Steven. Uh, I don't have it. JPO. I have a uh, treasure chest. <laughs> the correct answer is I've got Java Dirt. I've got Java Dirt. Java Dirt is the correct answer. Oh, okay. Uh, next switch comes in directors. Who directed 12 Monkeys? I hope the last name is right. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. I hope both names are right. <laughs> JPO. Terry Gilliam? Stephen. I almost put Gilliam, but I went Gilliam. Terry Gilliam. Terry Gilliam is correct. <laughs> Good, I tell the woman, like, no, don't give it to him. <laughs> the next question comes in biopics. Who plays Johnny Cash's father, Ray, in Walk the Line? Oh, shit. Because you're not. I walk the line. I don't know if this is right or if I'm just making this up. Five, four, three, two, one. Pins down. Um, Stephen. I don't know. I guessed Robert Patrick. JPO. We're either guessing right or wrong together, buddy. Robert <laughs> Patrick. Robert Patrick is correct. Nice. Wow. I couldn't remember if that he's in like a spoof movie, if he's someone else's dad. <laughs> I was like, the felt right. Um, the next question comes in 90s movies. And before Sunrise, what European city was Celine going to study at university? Shit. 
And I like this trilogy, but I'm a, I'll take a nice talkie movie. But I don't pay attention to what we talk about. Five, three, two, one, pins down. Um, JPO. Patty? Steven. <laughs> I've seen this movie one time, so I don't remember, but I also went with Paris. Patty? Paris is correct. Sweet. Sometimes I go with the obvious answer. <laughs> In 2000s movies, um, what job does Ray Furrier have in 2005's War of the Worlds? Three, two, one, pins down. JPO. Construction. Um, Stephen. I remember, I think he was in a, you know, handling a crane, like crane, but I ultimately went with a construction. Hey. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I can't give you that because he's a crane operator, but he's working on the docks. So, like, it's not, so it's not really construction side. Are they constructing right? the docks? <laughs> no. Uh, either way, we're right around together, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the next question comes in horror. <laughs> Who plays Dracula in 1931's Dracula, directed by Todd Browning? We should challenge the last question, Stephen, just so we get higher scores. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, pins down. Um, JPO. Uh, for Bella Lugosi. Stephen. I don't even know if this is a right if this is a real person of a Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing that is, is a real per person. That's Grand, Grand Admiral Tark. <laughs> but uh, JPO is correct. Oh, Isabella, sweet. Okay. Yeah. Was um, next question comes in family films. Um, in Inspector Gadget, John Brown is chasing after Doctor Claw after he stole a robotic version of what body part at the start of the movie. Also, Peter Cushing did actually play Dracula in um, one of the British versions um, later on, anyway, wow. as well. Yeah, but he's a newer dude. Yeah, he's older. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, pins down. Stephen. Arm. JPO. Arm. But <laughs> the correct answer. But, uh, <laughs> that movie sucked, anyways. I saw it when I was seven, having looked back. It, it's Maybe really it enjoyable. Nine. The next question comes in war. What war does Jahid take place during? Oh, Jarhead. Okay, I didn't know you. <laughs> oh. Ooh. You know, there's like five of these. <laughs> uh, I'll do a repeat. Yep. Um, in the category of war, what war does Jahid take place during? War. Uh, good God, y'all. What is it good for? Five. Good. I'm going to be pissed if I was right the first time. One. Nah. Down. Stephen. Is it Afghanistan? JPO. To the Desert Storm. Yeah, I can give you Desert Storm. The Gulf War is the um, specific. Oh, that was the yeah. first time, the first one I did. 
I was like, time period wise, it got to make sense. But Afghanistan, I feel like it's happening when the movie's out now. Well, the movie came out in 2005. Oh, okay. Um, but next question comes in comedy. Yeah. Um, who plays Evan Baxter and Bruce Almighty in the sequel Evan Almighty? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, pins down, Stephen. I will die on this hill alone, on this island alone, all by myself. I don't care, but I like. Evan Almighty more than Bruce Almighty. Steve Carell. JPO. I can't join you on that hill, Steve Carell. And the final question of um, round one um, in coming of age movies. And Billy Elliot, who plays Billy's dance teacher, Sandra Wilkinson? Oh, man. That's really Billy Elliot. I don't know. He looks like Billy Elliot. It's Sandra. <laughs> you look like a Sandra. I like how you didn't really say we were right in the last one. Like, of course you're right. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you were correct. Love the last question. <laughs> um, uh, JPO. Emma Thompson can teach me how to dance, huh? <laughs> Steven. I know this is wrong, but I put just to have an answer. I put Brenda Bluffin. Um, JPL is closer. It is a wizarding world actress. It's Julie Walters. Yeah, uh, she was, I remember she was not because she was nominated that year for that movie. I just couldn't remember who it was. Uh, um, <sighs> but with that at the end of round one, um, JPL is in the lead with six points. Stephen is on four points, but all can change in round two, which is the real round. Um, I, I have a bunch wheel. of categories on there, plus opponents and spinners choice. The categories I have on the wheel to, to today, we've got the Shrek franchise, Leonardo DiCaprio, dark movies, musicals, time travel movies, Mill Street, Actors and Actors, which is JPO's strength, and movie release dates, which is Stephen's strength. Um, and as I bring in the wheel, is going to go first uh, for the spin. If you, But JPO, do you want to um, spin first or defer? I'll, I'll spin first. I don't mind. Um, before you spin it, though, let me just uh, give me a second. Hey, Will. It, it, it's Jordan. I, I, we've had our problems in the past, and sometimes <laughs> you've been a dick to me. But today, I, I'm sure we'll get along. So I love you. Okay. All right. All right. Whenever you're ready, Mike. Wheel, we just talked about this. <laughs> you piece of shit. Oh. So, Stephen, what do you want to give JPO for his category? Uh, I love them all. Bring it. I don't give a shit. Yeah, don't do, you want to, do, do you want to repeat to the categories? Yes, I think I'll have a repeat. Uh, um, so, we've got the Shrek franchise, love Leonardo it. DiCaprio, Shrek. Shark movies. Musicals, Fantastic. time travel movies, Mill Strength, yep. JPO's mm -hmm. own strength of Vectors yeah, and Nexus, and movie release dates. Got it. Uh, I answered. Mm. I need zero. <laughs> uh, do musicals. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Good, he froze. Well, good, we froze. <laughs> We're gonna have to re record this episode at a different time. Uh, we'll re spin at that point. <laughs> oh, shit, everything, gl everything glitched out for me. So, Stephen, what he said, <laughs> he said actors and actresses. <laughs> he said musical. musicals, musicals. Yeah. Good try, good try, JPO. Good try. <laughs> this means I won't have to worry about it for myself. I've, I've, do I have multiple choice here if I need be? You've got, you've got multiple choice. All right. All right, your first question in musicals. 
Who plays Vanessa in In the Heights? Vanessa. Multiple choice. Shit. Uh, is it A, Stephanie Beatrice, B, Olga Meredith, C, Melissa Barrera, or D, Leslie Grace? C. C is correct for a point. Yeah, all right. I was like, I didn't want to say it's Stephanie Beatrice. I was like, it's not the Brooklyn J. All right. Um, the next question is, what is the name of the play that Christian helps write in Moulin Rouge? Oh, God. Multiple choice. Is it A, Spectacular, Spectacular, B, Moulin, Moulin, C, Fantastic, Fantastic, or D, Superb, Superb? Repeat those options, please. Is it A, Spectacular, Spectacular, B, Moulin, Moulin, C, Fantastic, Fantastic, or D, Superb, Superb? Fantastic, Fantastic. That is incorrect, Stephen, for the steal. Is it D? D is also incorrect as spectacular, oh, spectacular. That was too long. The next question is, what decade is Resize Story set in? And wow. before anyone interrupts, both uh -huh. versions are set in the same um, oh, decade. Right. All right, so... I'm not going to do multiple choices. It's probably just going to be all the shit I'm thinking of anyway. I'm going to say... Forties. That is incorrect, Stephen. Um, what do you... For the steal. Do you want to repeat the... Uh, actually, yeah. I'll, if <laughs> you're free, do, repeat... Yeah, the, uh, he didn't yeah. do uh, uh, multiple choice. So. Well, yeah, I mean... I'll give you. I'll give you a repeat of the question. Anyway, um, what decade is Resource Story set in? Nineteen twenties. That is also incorrect. It is nineteen yes. fifties. Fifties. It is later. Shit. Was and JBO, your final question in musicals is: Who plays Brad in the Rocky Horror Picture Show? He's weirder. Who else is in that? A multiple choice. Is it A, Tim Curry, B, Barry Bostwick, C, Meatloaf, or D, Charles Gray? B. B is correct for a point. Yeah, I, I knew multiple choices. I knew it was like what you said. So at, at the end of your um, round two, you picked up two points, going up to uh, eight points. So, um, now it's time for um, Stephen's spin. Well, it will be equally vengeful. <laughs> uh, it's going to be... Uh, okay, it's going to be spinner choice. I'll uh, spin again. Spin again. Now it's going to be spinner choice. Don't you do it. <laughs> That's a free spin. <laughs> <laughs> more musical questions. Make him suffer the same shit. Come on, <laughs> okay. Uh, Shot movies. That's not his strength, is it? No. no. Okay, good. Watch, <laughs> watch you deal it. Uh, what shark movies are there by science right. movie? All right, the first, <laughs> the first question in shark movies. In Jaws, when Matt Hooper looks over the remains of the first girl that was killed, what was the reason that was listed as a cause of death on her death certificate? Um, multiple choice. Is it A, boating accident, B, drowning, C, shark attack, or D, plane crash? Drowning. That drowning is incorrect. JPO for this. Still, I'll give you a repeat of the question and options. And actually, I should have got rid of that reel. But um, mm. <laughs> in Jaws, when Matt Hooper looks over the remains of the first girl that was killed, what was the reason that was listed as a cause of death? 
Um, was it A, boating accident, B, drowning, C, shark attack, or D, plane crash? And five, four, three. Boating two. accident. Boating accident is correct for a point. Okay. Like, is it weird plane crash? <laughs> I know it's not shark attack because I know it's different. Than that. Or it's not obvious as that. Okay. All right. The next question is Who plays Nancy in the shallows? That was, is that uh, Blake Lively? Blake Lively is correct. The next question is, what is the name of the research center in the MIG? Um, multiple choice. Is it A, mana 4, B, mana 3, C, mana 2, or D, mana 1? Mana 4. Um, JPO for the steel. What is the name of the research center in the MIG? A, Mana 4, B, Mana 3, C, Mana 2, or D, Mana 1? Mana 1. Mana 1 is correct. <laughs> I was like, would he, uh, would he do the one that's not a number? No, it's got to be a number. I mean, they're all numbers. <laughs> Oh, One, okay. Two, three, four. Oh, three. I thought you said free. Well, I'm good. I'm glad I misheard because it helped my answer. <laughs> um, your final question in shark movies, Stephen. Um, what country does 47 meters down take place in? Multiple choice. Is it A, USA, B, Cuba, C, Mexico, or D, Panama? Oh, boy. Oh boy is not an option. <laughs> name uh, of the town, there is. Five, four, three. Cuba. Cuba is incorrect. JPO. I'm, I'm going to say some time. Panama. Panama. <laughs> Panama is also oh, Panama is okay. also incorrect. Yeah. Oh, um, I wasn't confident. Answer, I just I remembered. <laughs> the Greek answer is. Mexico. Mexico, yeah. But but at the but at the end of um but the at the end of round two, JPO is still in the lead of ten points. Steven is on six points and now we go into um round three. Basically round three is you got a two, three or five point question. The two point uh, is a guaranteed um data question, actor, actress, director, composer. Um, three point is a quote or plot question. Quote or plot question. <laughs> um, quote, whatever. I don't even know what that is. And then the fifth one is IMDb round, which I'll get to when we get there. Uh, but JP, you are in the lead. Do you want set one or set two? Set one. Set one. So seven, you get um, set two, and you do need to hit your two and three pointer. Um, to pass it over to JPO. Um, Stephen, um, who composed the score for Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? Oh boy. I have a feeling this is wrong because this seems too obvious, but I'll go with him anyways. Um, John Williams. John Williams is correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it's a two-pointer. I'm not going to go <laughs> someone really ob 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 obscure. Um, your three-pointer. I know he did the first one. I just don't remember if he did the others. I mean, it was the first one I asked about, so... Oh, <laughs> I, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> um, in, the next question is, in Beverly Hills Cop, what fruit does Axel use to temporarily disable Taggart and Billy's car? My God, this one's even easier than, than the first the first one. Uh, banana. Wait, you said Billy. Oh, oh. 
It's a billion Kagan. You got, you got the answer out. Okay. Yeah, banana, is, is. banana is correct. Oh, okay. All right. Um, which me um we'll go to over to JPO for his two point question. Um, who composed the score for the Da Vinci Code? Oh, fucking scores. Oh, I'm not as easy as John Williams one. That's not my answer. <laughs> Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer is correct. Oh, sweet. All right, maybe it's easy. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> So it's going back to Stephen, um, and you have to hit um, this five pointer to stay in the game. So basically, for the IMDb round, um, I will give you the genre, and you can pick three clues out of year, director, um, actor, or lead actor or actress, um, co actor, and composer. So um, your genres is action, adventure, comedy. What three? options do you want can you can, can you say what uh, 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 the uh, options are again yep so yeah director lead actor or actress co-actor or actress or composer all right I'll go with year director and lead actor so um, so your genre is action adventure comedy year is 2004 Director is Riz Anderson. Actor is Bull Murray. The Life Aquatic with Steve Cizu. That is correct for five points. Right. So that takes you up five points. Now we go over to um, APO for your three point question. And Forrest Gump. What magazine did Jenny pose for, which caused her to get kicked out of college? Playboy? Playboy is correct for three points. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing it's the titty one. <laughs> but, uh, so it's down to JPO's five point oh. question. Um, yeah, for your. Genre is crime sci-fi. Do you want to pick? Um, what do you want to pick out of year, director, lead actor or actress, co-actor or composer? Can I pick two lead actors? <laughs> no. Um, okay. Um, hmm, crime sci-fi. <clears throat> Definitely actor and <sighs> actor and co co actor. And one more. Oh, and year. Sweet. Okay. I thought I had to choose between two. My bad. I'm playing this. <laughs> yeah, I said three, three out of the. Oh, uh, okay. That's what I wanted. I wanted those three. Good. Okay. I'm happy. All right. So, year, actor, <laughs> and co actor. So, crime, so for crime science fiction, your year is 1971. Your actor is Malcolm McDowell. Your co-actor is Rowan Clark. A Clockwork Orange? That is correct for five okay. points. Which means... And your winner is JPO. Um, Ooh, to the very last question. Yeah, but um, but yeah, I'm going to take out JPO and talk to go to um. Let's just talk to the winner first. Um, but JPO, oh, um, yeah, she's taking me out. I was doing the whole. Uh... <laughs> uh, JPO, how did you feel about playing out the win today? Oh man, I was able. Glad I was able to pull it. You know, it, it was definitely the obvious answer, but I just wanted to make sure. I'm like, is this sci-fi, right? Yeah. So, um, no, man, not surprised. Me and Stephen went to the final question. 
Last time we fought on ASAT, I think we went like triple, like double time over because like we kept we tied and then had to keep doing the tiebreakers. So I'm not surprised. Uh, Steve, Steven's a good player here. Um, I really need to like buy that wheel some flowers because <laughs> that wheel doesn't like me most of the time. Every once in a while, it's a sweetheart to me. But eh, most times it wakes up on the wrong side of the bed. But uh, I had a lot of fun. I'm um, looking forward to my next. Do we know my next opponent? I mean, I was I was getting there. Um, so your next opponent will either be Russell Howe or Sam Wilson. Uh, oh, okay. I love Sam. I've met Russell a little bit more recently. So, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm down to face either one. And uh, I think I'll take either one of them down. So, yeah. <laughs> Who's my opponent after that? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not overlooking them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Adelaide Spence already did that to me. <laughs> to, to, um, Anyway, moving on to um, Stephen. Um, Stephen, <laughs> you came close, um, but you just narrowly um, missed it. But um, how do you feel about how you played? Yeah, I think if I did a little better in round one, I, I could have pulled it off. But eh, whatever. It was fun. <laughs> um, is there anyone you um, want to face in the future? Um I will face anybody that uh, that will that I will face. I, I don't. <laughs> it it doesn't really matter to me. Uh, but, um, Whoever but wants. Yeah, to. Uh, yeah. I mean, we, I I don't know if I'll get you be able to get in another match for you, but this, um, this year, but next year for sure. But like once um once the tournament's fun, then and we've actually got a kind of a ranking thing, then I'll probably. So have a look see um so probably be people who hasn't had a chance to do a one-on-one -on -one match so that they were in the um play-ins they'll probably get the shot after the tournament but um but yeah um but that being said that was a great match like um both players both players um just didn't get a strength that they liked in the real and just didn't well but jpo managed to steal a lot from steven um which kind of had that um side but but um but yeah um that is the end of the match um and see you in the movies as end to the record.